Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel, TKC Travels. Today we are going on a ship tour of the Norwegian Viva. We are starting out on deck six in the atrium. This is where you will enter the ship on embarkation day. The Penrose atrium is three stories tall and is filled with bars, restaurants, and lounges. The Penrose bar on deck six is a spot to pick up your morning mimosa all the way into the late night cocktail. Starting forward on deck six, just outside of the theater, you will find a John Hardy jewelry boutique, as well as Beauty by Design, a shop featuring perfume, makeup, as well as premium liquor, tobacco, and cigars. Continuing back towards the atrium, you will find the Cruise Next desk. Norwegian Cruise Line offers a great program called Cruise Next that allows you to receive free onboard credit just by reserving deposits toward future cruises while on board. As you pass by the Cruise Next desk, you will enter the casino, which makes up the entire midship section of Deck 6 on both sides. Smoking is allowed in the casino, but only if a person is actively playing. I didn't notice the smell of smoke outside of the casino on our sailing. However, if you are very sensitive to the smell, I would avoid the area as there is no way to walk through deck six without passing through it. On the other side of the casino, you will find one of the two main dining rooms, the Commodore room. The Commodore room is the more formal of the two main dining rooms and requires men to wear long pants in the evening. Next to the Commodore room is the Belvedere Bar. The Belvedere Bar is an upscale contemporary cocktail lounge that serves craft cocktails in the evenings. Moving on, you will find Cagney Steakhouse. Cagney Steakhouse is Norwegian's signature steakhouse that is on most of their ships. If you want to dine there, you will need to make a reservation in advance and it comes at an extra charge. Moving up to deck seven forward, you will find the onboard credit desk next to guest services, a watch store called Timeless Luxury, featuring pre-owned Rolex, Tac Heuer, Breitling, Oris, and more, as well as another great view of the stunning atrium. All the way forward is the Viva Theater. It is three stories tall and can be entered on decks six, seven, and eight. It hosts shows like Beetlejuice and Icons, the game show Pressure Luck, and even some comedy performances. Later in the evening, it transforms into the Viva Nightclub and hosts all of your favorite Norwegian parties like the Welcome Aboard Party, the 70s, 80s, and 90s parties, and the Latin Party. As you exit the theater on deck seven forward, you will find a Starbucks where you can get your caffeine fix, as well as the shore excursions desk. If you haven't booked a shore excursion in advance, you can stop by here to find out all of your options and book an excursion for your next port of call. As we continue midship on deck seven, we find another shopping area on board the Norwegian Viva called the Gateway. Just past the Gateway, you will find the art gallery. Next up, we find the Comedy Club Improv at Sea across from one of my favorite venues, Sid Norman's Poor House. We spent many late nights in here listening to the house band play rock hits. Continuing on outside of Sid Norman's, you will find more art on display. All of the art that you see is available for purchase. Just talk to the art auctioneers on board or attend the art auction. The art auction is hosted by Park West Gallery. The Norwegian Viva does have a humidor cigar lounge located on deck seven. It is also where you will find this interactive art feature. You can run your hand down this wall and the butterflies will follow your movements. It's located directly across from the Metropolitan Bar. The Metropolitan Bar is a lounge and bar that's open in the evenings and you will often find a singer or a band playing live music here. On deck seven, you will find another popular choice for dining on the Norwegian Viva. This is Le Bistro. It is the French restaurant and it comes at an extra cost and reservations are required in advance if you want to get a table. The Haven elevators are located at the back of deck seven, giving access to that exclusive area. 
At the back of deck seven, you will find two more specialty dining restaurants that are an extra charge. They are both Japanese. This is Nama Sushi and Sashimi. This is where you will find an extensive menu of sushi rolls. And on the other side, you will find Hasuki, which is the traditional hibachi or teppanyaki Japanese restaurant. Also at the aft of Deck 7, you will find Hudson's. Hudson's is the other main dining room on the Norwegian Viva. It is the more casual of the two, and it serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily. Moving up the stairs from Deck 7 forward to Deck 8 forward, we find ourselves again in the Penrose Atrium. Here you will find more seating areas, as well as more onboard shops. There is another jewelry store, as well as a boutique on this level. Opposite of the shops on Deck 8, you will find the Whiskey Bar, located in front of the Italian restaurant on the Bascarpetta. This is another specialty dining venue that comes at an extra charge. If you're interested in having a professional photo shoot done on your vacation, be sure to stop by Perspective Studio. As we make our way midship on Deck 8, you will find even more shopping options. iStyle offers sunglasses. You will also find a place to buy spa products outside of the spa and Tech at Sea. If you are interested in buying a vlogging camera or some binoculars while you're on your trip, this is a great option for some tax and duty free electronics. Past Tech at Sea, you will find the photo gallery. All over the ship, there will be photographers throughout your cruise taking your photo. And if you would like to look at your photos and purchase them, just stop by the photo gallery and use one of the kiosks. Also on Deck 8 is the specialty restaurant Los Lobos, specializing in Mexican food. If you are looking for an included food option on the Norwegian Viva outside of the main dining rooms and the buffet, check out the local bar and grill. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's open for late night snacks. It has a full bar and you can catch a game while you're there. Another included food option is the Indulge Food Hall. This is a new concept that was introduced on the Norwegian Prima. There are different stations located in the Indulge Food Hall that offer different types of food. You can select the food you want from any of the stations by using an iPad that is located at your table. You make your selections and send your order and then a waiter will bring everything to your table. There's also a bar and indoor and outdoor seating. All the way aft on Deck 8, you will find the Salil Bar. This is the perfect place to grab a cocktail and enjoy the view of the wake of the ship. Just around the corner is a self-serve ice cream station. Outside of the local on Deck 8, you will find Infinity Beach. There you will find day beds with waiting pools and, of course, the infinity pools that blend in with the ocean off the side of the ship. Moving forward outside on Deck 8, you will find outdoor seating for a couple of the specialty restaurants, Los Lobos and Onda Bascarpeta. If the weather is cooperating on your cruise, I would recommend requesting a seat outdoors so that you can enjoy the views while you eat dinner. While you're on Deck 8, don't miss a chance to take a walk on the first glass walkway at sea, the Ocean Walk. Next, make sure you check out the interactive artwork at the concourse. Decks 9 through 14 are all staterooms, and on deck 15, you will find Splash Academy. Deck 16 is where you will find the spa, the barber shop, the beauty salon, and the fitness center. All the way forward on deck 17 is the observation lounge. A light breakfast is served here in the morning, as are light snacks in the afternoon. What makes this area special are the floor-to-ceiling windows that surround the entire room. There is ample seating in a bar as well. Outside of the observation lounge on deck 17 forward, you will find the Galaxy Pavilion. The Galaxy Pavilion is the virtual reality gaming facility on Norwegian Viva. Most of the games cost on average $8 per play, 
or you can get a one hour pass for $29. They also offer a weekly pass for $199 that will allow you to play any of the games all week long for an unlimited amount of time. Outside of the Galaxy Pavilion, you will find a ship model of the Norwegian Beva that is very cool, as well as plaques that they have received during the inaugural season. As we make our way outdoors on Deck 17, the first thing you will see is a towel exchange area, followed by some loungers on the pool deck next to the main pool. Yet another specialty dining option on the Norwegian Veva is Palomar. Palomar is the Mediterranean restaurant where you will find the freshest seafood. Leaving Palomar and making our way across the pool deck, we pass by the Waves Pool Bar. If you're looking for a frozen drink on your cruise, this is the bar to go to. As we make our way past the Waves Pool Bar, we come to the Surfside Cafe. This is the buffet on the Norwegian Viva. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You will find just about any kind of food you could think of at the buffet. They have pizza, burgers, Asian stations, Indian stations, a huge salad bar, and many other options. Leaving the buffet, you find the entrance to the Vibe Beach Club. This is an extra charge adults only venue. Last but certainly not least of the specialty dining venues on the Viva is Food Republic. Deck 18 is where you will find the beginning of the three-level Viva Speedway. It is also where you will find the Viva Speedway Bar. Looking over the deck from the Viva Speedway Bar, you can see the Vibe Beach Club below. This is a private adult-only area that comes at an extra cost. Moving aft on deck 18, you will find the entrance to the Rush, Norwegian Viva's dual racing slides. The stadium is the Norwegian Viva's complimentary sports area on deck 18. Here you will find games like beer pong, foosball, ping pong, pickleball, sub soccer, and shuffleboard. On the opposite side of Deck 18, you will find more games, but these come at an extra cost. The bullseye is where your crew can play a round of darts on the Norwegian Viva. The cost is $5 per group for up to 50 minutes. Across from the bullseye is Tea Time, an extra cost interactive mini golf course. This area is a lot of fun, albeit a bit overpriced at $10 per person per game. Also on this side of Deck 18 is the Drop Slide. The Drop Slide is the first free fall dry slide at sea and in the entire world. If you are wondering where the smoking area is, it is located on Deck 18 all the way forward, just across from the kids' splash pad and aqua park. Moving up to Deck 19 forward, you will find the entrance to the Waves Water Slide, as well as an overlook of the main pool area. The last and highest deck on board the Norwegian Viva is Deck 20. It is made up of the highest level of the Viva Speedway, as well as the Speedway viewing platform. The Speedway comes at an extra cost of $15 per person per ride and reservations are required. That concludes our tour of the Norwegian Viva. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notifications bell so you will be informed of our next video. And in the meantime, check out our Norwegian Viva vlogs. Thanks for watching.